building site. The Fiesta 40 brakes. Tonight, Ford recalls 67,000 of them. And Comet's computer helpline. 17 seconds to get through to sales. How long to get through to technical support? That's Watchdog, the program you cannot afford to miss. And this is our new number, 0870-010-7070. Alice is here as usual, taking your calls, along with Jane Goddard, Andy Webb, and the rest of the team. First, British Airways Holidays. This is its worldwide brochure, offering on page 10, custom-made wedding and honeymoon packages. A £50 million advertising campaign. We're Cable and Wireless, Britain's newest telephone and cable TV company. Join in our national customer survey and tell us what we can do for you. Well, you can start connecting some of your customers. John reports. This is Talk Radio. Ian Collins and the Creatures of the Night. Free call 0500 1053 89 now. Just a little after one o'clock, welcome along to the United Kingdom's number one nighttime radio show. I am Ian Collins. Ian Collins is Talk Radio's late night presenter. In November, he bought a brand new flat in London's Docklands. Within days, Cable and Wireless offered to connect his telephone for £5.99. A bargain. BT's fee, after all, was to be £116. Mr Collins said yes to Cable and Wireless, but there was a problem. They said, your address doesn't actually exist. It's, it's not there, you know, and I said, well, actually it is there because I'm stood in there at the moment speaking to you on my mobile. So I know it, the address is there. Uh, they said it didn't. I said it did. That's how it went on. They said, call back in a couple of weeks' time. In all, it actually took four weeks for them to establish that my address did exist. Problem one solved. But then another hitch. Cable and Wireless said that he needed the permission of his neighbours in the two flats below and next door if he wanted them to fix a line. Then they changed their mind, but still no phone. Mr Collins had to use his local phone box. And of course, his mobile phone. On December the 15th, a breakthrough. Cable and Wireless told Mr Collins an engineer would install his new telephone on the 7th of January. Engineer number one turned up on time. He said the phone could be used from 7 o'clock onwards, but come 7 p.m., nothing. Mr. Collins phoned cable and wireless from his mobile. Don't worry, they said, we'll send someone else out. On January the 12th, engineer number two arrived and blamed the cabling. Next day, cable and wireless engineer number three came and seemed confused. He said the company needed more time to do work. That was four weeks ago. Ian Collins is still trying to find out what's happening, but the company never calls him back. This is Talk Radio. Can I help you? Hi, can I talk to Ian, please? Thanks for tuning in tonight. Now let's hear from our first call on line one. That's Miriam Simon, a retail manager from Salford. Hi, Miriam. What appears to be the problem there? Hi. I signed up for cable and wireless back in October, and after five days, a technician came out to take off our BT line and install the cable and wireless phone line. They disconnected BT. The chap told me he was nipping out for 20 minutes and he'd be back to install cable and wireless and he disappeared. Sorry, disappeared? Yep, disappeared. We've never seen anybody from cable and wireless since. We, we went to the phone box on the corner the next day, spent almost £10 and an hour and 40 minutes on hold, still didn't get to speak to a human being. Eventually, after several phone calls and five missed appointments, we just gave up and went back to BT. Well, Cable and Wireless not doing particularly well tonight. Let's go to line three. This is Jim Norris, who's in Ealing. Hi, Jim. Hi, Ian. I was persuaded to join Cable and Wireless in November of last year. The salespeople gave me a great story. They said there'd be minimum disruption. It took five visits to get the phones installed properly. OK, thank you very much for all your calls on this one. I think we could be here all night on this. I'm still without a telephone, so live on the radio, I'm going to try the customer helpline just one more time. Let's see what happens here. As you'd perhaps expect, something very annoying happened. Thank you for calling Cable and Wireless. Your call will be answered shortly. Collins apparently was left uh, hanging on for another 15 minutes and then he gave up. How about you, Alice? Have Cable and Wireless been prepared to talk to you? Hot facts. 
from Good. no less than Graham Wallace, the chief executive of Cable and Wireless Communications. Very he impressive. says that they have more than 35,000 customers, new customers every month, and they pledge to deliver a high level of service and take this commitment very seriously. One dissatisfied customer is one dissatisfied customer too many. Okay, Alice, why didn't they take Ian Collins seriously last November? Well, they've sent out four engineers, but it has taken since November for him to get his phone connected. Since we got involved, they're now tomorrow sending out not just an engineer, they're sending a manager as well. Right. And for Miriam Simon, she did manage to get £150 compensation back in November from Cable and Wireless, but she's been asking them for four months to come and collect a black cable box and give her her £15 deposit back. She paid them that in October. Why and haven't they taken that seriously? Perhaps they're frightened of you, Annie. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> anyway, she's got it back. Good. So that's good. Lovely. Great. Anybody else being taken Renault seriously? Renault Key Fobs, yes. Um, another statement from Renault UK this evening about these little chaps here. Yeah. And t until tonight, they didn't actually know what caused the problem at all. But it's oh. caused by static. Yeah. Renault UK were told that by Renault in France. And so the, pro the problem has to be solved by actually giving people a new key fob. Right. So is everybody to have a new key fob? Yep. And they'll get it for free. Right. Now, just a minute, because there are quite a few... Um, Renault customers who've paid either £25 or £27.99, what's going to happen to them? They should go to their local dealer where they got it fixed and ask for a refund. Good, ask for a refund. Andy, who else is taking us seriously? Well, I wonder if they are. Computer helplines, of course. Yeah. Now, Time featured in the film. Now, they faxed us. Now, they say, this is Time, we have no problem with the helpline. They go further, they it's say... It's their customers who've got problems well, with the well, helpline. It would seem so, because from Time's point of view, they say, we don't provide an education or learning service for our customers. I think they got the computer to write this bit. They say... Customers with an expectation of getting through first time may well find this expectation not met. Okay. Indeed not. We also checked out uh, Dell, one of the very biggest the multinational company. It took us on one occasion 32 minutes to get through the helpline, but Dell said they know they've got problems. They've got 18 more people 18 joining more people the helpline at Dell time. on the technical support. That's right. Tiny, again in our film, they're very good news there. They also admit there's a problem. They're putting 50 more people on the help desk. But even with that extra 50, they say the average wait time will be five minutes. That's a long time to listen right, to the four seasons. Right, 50 more people. For Tiny, yes. Right, OK. Alice, tell everyone where, where Andover is. It's in Hampshire, Annie. Yeah. Not, that's not what you said in another film. I know it's not in Berkshire. I said it. I was doing a commentary very quickly. I know it's not in Berkshire. I go right. through it. Alice quite knows often, that so. Andover isn't in Berkshire. It's in Hampshire. I apologise. Please don't tell me off. Um, British Airways are taking people seriously as well. Good. They've sent us a fact saying they are very, very sorry for the stress and discomfort caused to Mr. and Mrs. Fairhurst by the, those building works. And remember, we do want to tell people about the Holiday Rescue Line. Sam is on the tarmac with her plane, ready and waiting. And the Holiday Rescue number is 0181 749 94. Nine three and um, Ford Fiesta callers owners are calling in to say they're having difficulty getting through to the Ford helpline. We thought it'd be up and running tonight. It doesn't seem to be. So Ford, get your act together on your helpline, please. That's it for this evening from all of us on the team. Thank you for watching. We take you seriously. Good night.